Okay, I showed you how to do the featured image, which again is very important to me. So make sure you do one of those. They are beautiful on the homepage if you scroll down the website and see image after image after image. Next, I'm gonna show you how to wrap text around a photo in a post. And you can and should do this even if you have a slideshow, even if you have a featured image, even if you're repeating a photo with text wrapped around it and the same photo appears in the slideshow, that's perfectly fine. So again, here's how you do it. I'm gonna go to a posts. Uh, I'll go to all my posts. I'll go to that first post again. I just like to start from the dashboard so you can see. This post is open. Again, if I scroll down, I'll see some text. I'm just going to click down here somewhere in the text. Uh, I can put the photo to the right or the left. I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm going to click next to the word noon. And uh, up here, I'll hit plus sign at the top of the screen. That's going to open a block within that text. And what I want is called image. I can scroll down till I find image or I can just type image up here and it'll show me that. So I'm just going to select image and then down here pick a select image from the media library. So I will select image. I had to hit this twice. So uh, I'm going to hit select image from media library. Again, I had to hit select image twice. Let's pick a different one this time. This time I think I'll use, I don't, I do have a vertical. Let me use a vertical image which will be better with text wrapped around it because it won't take up as much space. You can totally do this with a horizontal photo. I'm gonna hit select. And now what I can do is I can alter this photo. This one, uh, the three lines here lets me select alignment. So at the top, there's this little menu. I'm gonna select these three lines and I'm gonna align this to the left. And then I'm gonna make it smaller. This is great because I can just click on the image, grab one of the edges. There's a dot here to the right. There's a dot here to the bottom. By the way, Here's the caption that goes with the photo, like I mentioned in the other lecture. I'm just gonna grab this dot and drag it to the left and make this photo smaller. Uh, and here we go, it actually wraps text around it. Now what I might do is because it's so tall, I think I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I don't think I can just drag it up. I'm actually gonna have to, oh, look at that. I can click move up right here and it moves it up to the top or I can click here and move down. I'm gonna move it up and we'll leave it right there. I think that's nice. I like how it kind of, corresponds with the first paragraph right down here to the caption end of the first paragraph. I'm just going to hit update because I'm happy with it. That's how you insert a photo into existing text. It's a really nice way to showcase photos. I will especially look for photos. For example, if one of my photographies, if one of my photographs was taken inside a lab and I have a paragraph in my article where I talk about work in the laboratory, students working in the lab, I will put that photo next to that paragraph so that the image and the paragraph go together. My article is pretty generic. Any of the photos would have worked, but think about that. Put photos strategically wrapped around the right text, uh, precise text that goes with that photo. All right, let's go look at my post. Let me go, uh, let me go refresh it. Uh, this is the home page. I'll click into here and you're gonna see my featured image, my slideshow, and then down here, my photo with text wrapped around it, just like that.